Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's 13 here back on the Marset base series. We're now have four out of the five builders and a bunch of loot that we have to get spending on the base here. We have to do a little bit of farming as well using the mass sneaky goblin attack strategy. We're switching back to that for a couple more episodes because I will be using uh, a new attack strategy in the coming uh, videos. We need to get the uh, archers up to level eight to be able to use these super archers so I can use a super barge barbarians and archers. So it's an upgrade the uh, archers inside of the lab they are level six at the moment but we can upgrade them up to level seven which we will be doing in today's video but the main point of today's video is also to get the pet house the final thing the final building for tunnel 14 and basically the entire base here so we're going to do a bunch of attacks and i actually started off before even recording this intro here i found a very good raid to attack so let's switch over and show you the base I just found. And we found a huge loot right here, 1.1 million gold and 900,000 elixir. We're using the sneaky goblins once again here, dropping the goblins on the town hall to take this down real quick. And then we'll drop a bunch of goblins to head in. I don't really care how many we use, as long as we get most of this uh, gold and elixir and basically dark elixir. We get a little bit of dark elixir on the base here. We'll drop a couple more goblins heading in on the base here. We have about 40 of them left, and we should get most of this loot. We still have about 600,000 gold, but it is in these four collectors left. We'll see if we can take these out real quick, and then we'll head on to another attack here. We have about 100,000 left. We'll take down the last couple of uh, buildings using two more goblins, which should take down the rest of this loot here, getting 1.1 million uh, gold and I think it was like 900,000 elixir on this base. Yeah, there we go. Very good loot there to start off the day. Let's head on to another attack. And we found another raid here. It's been actually probably about 15 minutes since I've actually started searching for another base since that last one there. We have another tunnel 14 here with around 11,000 dark elixir and 500,000 of each. We'll drop one goblin on every single collector, but I'm pretty sure the rest of it is towards the bottom here. We have two on the right side. We have a couple more at the very top with that clan castle that I want to take out. I want to take down these uh, loot buildings before we head into the base. We'll drop around three for the storages to uh, take those down. And then hopefully head down towards the clan castle and take this down as well. Drop a few more for that clan castle there. And the rest of the loot is towards the bottom. We're going to drop the uh, clan castle at the very bottom left to head straight towards through the heroes and towards the town hall dropping the king queen and the royal champ at the top to take down these archer towers we'll start to drop the goblins to head in drop on a bunch of them we'll break through to taking down these uh, loot buildings we'll drop the uh, clan castle actually comes out here so we'll drop a race bell for these guys dropping some more goblins and stuff to head through here you're gonna have to uh, freeze the clan castle and we'll use the Warren ability to keep these goblins through that town hall poison. And we'll head over to the right side of the base, getting the rest of the loot. We're at 40%. Looks like we will be able to get maybe even the three star in this one because it is a dead town hall 14. Actually, never mind. All the troops in the core have gone down. We have a little bit of uh, loot buildings left on the right. We'll drop there and we'll just end the raid off here, getting a round of two star for. Uh, I think there's around 14 to 15 trophies, 16 trophies, not too bad, getting 11,000 Dark Elixir and 500,000 of each. Let's head on to another attack. And we got another right here, tunnel 13 towards the bottom. We have around 500,000 of each once again. We'll drop the goblins on the outside to take down these uh, collectors and the town hall down at the bottom. We'll get that first star there, very good. Dropping one goblin on every single collector around the base. We have a couple more inside the base. We have the drills. Uh, one at the very top, and I think that's it. I think that's it for the Dark Elixir. We have a little bit of loot towards the bottom here. We'll drop some goblins to break through the wall and take this down here. Dropping a bunch of goblins at the bottom, top, and the left side. And we're going to drop a couple more to take down that collector there. We'll drop a couple more, one more at the very top. And we'll just leave that Dark Elixir in the core of the base. We got the one star, so we aren't going to lose any trophies. We'll gain some trophies. It was in that raid there, getting 500,000 in under a minute there. Very good attack. Let's head on to a couple more attacks. And we got another raid here, channel 14, with almost 900,000 Elixir. Uh, we have most of these collectors on the outside once again. And we'll just drop a bunch of goblins to take these out. And then we'll head in 
2D base. We also have that scatter shot on the outside of the base, which is very good. So we can probably take that out for the achievement here, which have a couple more goblins towards the bottom. Uh, some towards this gold storage at the top. We have some elixir storages on the outside that we can snipe here as well. So we'll jump a bunch more goblins over there. We'll take down the storage over there. We have the uh, storage, the dark elixir storage in the core that we can also take out. I think the rest of the elixir is on the right side here. So we're going to actually use the clan castle here on the right side, dropping the king queen and the warden with the royal champ actually to take down the inferno tower. They'll break through over to the uh, clan castle here and we'll drop a couple of goblins on both sides of the elixir storages, taking down both of them hopefully. And this actually, I forgot about the, uh, what's it called, the scatter shot towards the bottom here that we have to take out. Uh, but it looks like we won't really be able to take it down because of the uh, the scatter, or the heroes going down basically. We'll drop a heal or a rage through the core, see if we can just speed through and take down the town hall and those uh, inferno towers from the town hall just obliterate everything so we don't get uh, the town hall down but we still get basically all of the loot from that raid there very good attack we still have around 10 minutes left on the boost here and then we'll head over and do a little bit of upgrades around the base uh, yeah we have about 15 minutes left so I'll continue on doing the boost here probably do one more attack and then we'll head on and do a couple of upgrades around the base. And for the final raid of the day here, we're attacking this very rushed Town Hall 13 here with 600,000 of each. We'll take down the collectors to start, and then we'll head in and hopefully take down the Town Hall and the storage uh, in the core. They're all basically in the center of the base. We're going to go from the very bottom with the uh, Clan Castle. We've got the Siege Barrier, or the Siege, uh, what's it called, the Log Launcher at the very bottom. We have some Sewer Barbarians at the very top as some clan castle troops. We'll break it through towards the bottom. We'll set him on ground, drop the, uh, all the heroes, and we're gonna use the poison spell on these heroes, and also uh, drop a bunch of goblins to head into the core of the base. And they should take down most of these uh, here, the clan castle troops and stuff. We're gonna use the warden ability to keep up the royal champ here. We'll drop the rest of the goblins to head into the base here as well. Dropping a freeze. We'll take down that town hall, hopefully. There we go, it goes down. Dropping a rage spell through the rest of the storages, taking all of them down. Dropping a jump spell or two. Taking down the dark elixir storage. We still have a little bit of loot left, which is inside of the clan castle. We'll take that down and then we'll probably just end the raid, head out of here. And since we really just got all of the loot, there's nothing left on the base. We still have some goblins up that are going around and taking out a couple of these buildings. We have the king and the warden with a yeti on the right side. The queen will go down. And yeah, so I'm just, I'm just gonna head out of the raid here. We got all of the loot on the base. We'll head back to the base here and we're gonna do a couple of upgrades around the base. We only have 8 million and it is 15 million to upgrade or to get the pet house. But if we head over to the clan castle, we'll collect the treasury, which has around 5 million of each in there. So we'll collect that and bring us up to 13 million. And we still don't have enough, but if we head over to the, uh, what's it called, the season pass here, we have 1.5 and 1 million inside of there, but we already filled up on loot. Uh, actually, we didn't. So we, we're still short a little bit. So I'm gonna go out and get a little bit of loot, and then I'll come back once we have enough loot on the base. And we're back at the base, and we have full elixir on the base now. I just did a uh, practice challenge down here for the Tunnel 12. And it got me 600,000 elixir, so I just did that real quick. And now we have to get a little bit of upgrades going. We almost have full gold. We'll obviously have full elixir, like I've said before. But we're going to basically gem the town hall to uh, finish the time here. It only has 16 hours left, and we want to get it up to level 5 as fast as possible here. So we're going to get this, and there we go. Level 2 town hall, and we're going to get it up to level 3 immediately. 11 million gold in 11 day time to get it up to level 3. We'll have two more levels after this one is finished. And there we go, getting that done as well. Very good. And now we're going to head over and do a little bit more upgrades. Uh, we have the pet house that we can get and the laboratory, which I also haven't really done uh, too many upgrades inside of there. We want to get the uh, archers going inside there. But before we do all that, we're going to head over to the shop and we'll get the pet house 
unlocked on the base. I'm not too sure you want to put it, probably have to move a little, a uh, couple of things around the base here. We'll move that up and we'll move the pet house to put it right in between of all of this stuff here. And there we go, getting the pet house unlocked for 13 more days until it is actually usable. We can use the Lassie as the first pet on the rush base here, which is very, very good. I think we're gonna head over and use a rune of elixir since we have one on the base right now. Or actually, we're gonna wait until we have uh, more capacity in the storages because we only hold 15 at the moment and 18 million in the gold storages. So we're gonna actually upgrade one of these elixir storages up to the next level here. 4.5 million gold in a nine day time. We get another million capacity for the elixir storages here. Very, very good. Now we have two builders left and we're gonna get uh, some loot off camera and I'll upgrade the archers in uh, basically off camera. And hopefully in the next episode, we'll have the uh, level eight archers so we can use the super barch. But we're gonna upgrade both of the king and the queen up to the next level for the final little bit of the uh, upgrades here. 36,000 dark elixir and a two day time for the queen to go up to level 18. Very good. And we'll get the king going up to level 18 as well. 31,000 dark elixir in a two day time there. Very, very good. Getting both of the heroes, all builders going. We still have to get the lab going, but I'll get that going off camera in a little bit here. But that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And if you did want to see some more set based content just like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.